another little upgrade. They've got a little, um, just a little Windows based PC sitting in here. It's 10 year old. Some ridiculous thing has Windows XP on it. Close it down. Basically, just runs headless. I've got to plug the charger in. I've got to finish the wiring. Well, not necessarily the wiring, but all the hardware side of it. So the, the, the spark is coming back on Monday because I'm having some more stuff changed over. Not Monday, Tuesday. I'm going to put a power point up there so I can plug that laptop directly in. Um, and that just allows me to, on my iPhone, to remotely VPN into that. Um, so anywhere I can change settings. I can also, it's also got a Bluetooth dongle there. So the Bluetooth dongle hooks into my big SMA inverter up there, which is doing four and a half thousand watts. So yeah, and all this is set up in my dog area. <laughs> it's um the dog um sleeps down here at night time, so I got no problems at all leaving that there. Not that if anybody stole it, I couldn't replace it in about forty seconds, but you know. It's just proof of concept. Public holiday and I'm bored basically, I need something to do. So, I'm just seeing if I can make it a bit more functional. Um, still having problems with the amount of time it takes to switch from grid uh, to battery and vice versa. So I'm going to put in a support thing for that and see if we can work that out better. But apart from that, I'm really happy. We got five and a half kilowatt hours out of those batteries last night. And I didn't have those four hooked up. I got those four hooked up again today. So we're going to see how much more we get with those batteries because I think they're all dead. So like, rate, subscribe and tell your friends about how am I a cheap ass doing off-grid. Well, it's not even off-grid really, is it? It's sort of um, urban um, hybrid, I guess you'd call it. Because I'm, you know, I'm not interested in the whole the world's going to end and Russia's going to nuke us. It's just, you know, power companies rip me off, and how can I make some money from them at night time? Well, not necessarily from them, but not give them money at night time. So there's been, so I've got this running last Thursday. So it's been about four nights now that I've had it running, and it's run my whole house for probably 75% of the night. Um, it gets to a, in between 1 and 4 in the morning and then goes back to grid because the batteries go flat. Um, but it's quite possibly because one of them has um, got a bad cell or something. Because it seems to drop in, in a 20 minute period, it drops from 23 to 22 volts. Um, I don't know if that's normal, I've never had batteries before, but that's what it does. So I'm going to charge them all up again today. They get, they're getting to float each day, which is good. Um, so I'm going to charge them all up today. Um, not Turn them all off, not use them throughout tonight. And check all the battery voltages in the morning. And whichever ones drop down the most will be swapped out for another battery. And we'll see if that improves things in the, in the coming weeks. So that's my little update for today. I'm um, sorry for my rant and rain. Rant and ramble, but you know, can't talk to my wife about it anymore. She's about to kill me. She wants me to shut up. Every time I walk into the house, I've got an update. So I figured, you know, I'll burn your guys' ears off. And if you care, you watch. If you don't, you'll thumbs down it. Anyway, cheers for now. So this is the other end to it. Just, um, it's a slow old computer. It just shows my SMA. I don't really need it on here, but it's there anyway. So it just shows how much I produce throughout the day. And, um, month and year and whatever else see if it comes up it does take a little bit of time to download there you go so we got 25 kilowatt hours yesterday and I can minimize that down and I can have a look at my other inverter that's just the pip software so and all my kids have come to join me um, so yeah that's just the remote and it's using remote desktop connection through two Windows 7 machines so it seems to work well and also there's a remote desktop connection app from the app store that I have logged in with my phone with too and it works perfectly well even over even over a poor 3G connection it still works well 